It has been none of these. Yeah. What has been most shocking has been the chaos and the speed of the takeover by the Taliban. Yeah. In July of this year, both President Biden and my right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, indicated that they did not think that the Taliban was ready or able to take over control of the country. Was our intelligence really so poor? Was our understanding of the Afghan government so weak? Was our knowledge of the position on the ground so inadequate? Or did we really believe this? Or did we just feel that we had to follow the United States and hope that on a wing and a prayer, it would be all right on the night? Because the reality is, if I may just make this point, the reality is that as long as this a time limit was given and dates were given for withdrawal, all the Taliban had to do was to ensure there were sufficient problems for the Afghan government not to be able to have full control of the country and then just sit and wait. Would my right honourable friend agree that President Biden decided unilaterally to withdraw without agreeing and negotiating a plan with either the Afghan government or the NATO allies and the response of the UK government in the circumstances has been fast, purposeful and extremely, extremely well guided to protecting the interests of UK citizens. Can I just say to my right honourable friend that what President Biden has done is upheld a decision that was made by President Trump. It was a unilateral decision of President Trump to do a deal with the Taliban that has led to this withdrawal. And of course, what we've seen from the scenes in Afghanistan is that it hasn't been all right on the night. As I say, there are many in Afghanistan who fear not just that their lives will be irrevocably changed for the worse, but who fear for their lives. Numbered among them will be women. Women who embrace freedom, embrace the right to education, to work and to participate in the political process. My right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, was right to make the education of girls a key aim of his administration. But in Afghanistan, that will now be swept away. Those girls who have been educated will have no opportunity to use that education. The Taliban proclaim that women will be allowed to work and girls will be allowed to go to school. But this will be under Islamic law, or rather under their interpretation of Islamic 